Hello! In this video we're going to talk some more about Venn diagrams and um, we're going to relate them to set notation and what we're going to do is we're going to shade some areas in Venn diagrams. This is something you're going to see a lot on tests and we're going to just do a little bit of different stuff. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So let's see. We're going to use three sets in our Venn diagrams. So let's start with the universe and, and you won't always see the universe. Sometimes your instructors will just dis will just make the assumption that it's there. It's really common especially when you don't have numbers related to this. So these are going to be a little more abstract. This is A, set A. We have set B. My circles are not very circly and we have set C. So I'm going to we're going to go ahead and figure out what we want to shade first. So for this first one, we're going to have the set of A union B intersect with C. So that's not so bad, right? And so you kind of always start from the inside out. So let's go ahead and start with blue and let's figure out what A union B is. And this isn't going to be the finished bit, but let's go ahead and figure that out. Well, A union B is everything in A and B. And that's easy enough, right? That's everything here in blue. Kind of looks like a certain mouse. I won't mention because I don't want to get sued, but okay. Well, now I need to add another layer. Um, now what we need is the next part, which is we need to take that. We're going to pretend that's a new set. That's the best way to think about that. Let's make that set like D or something. That's a brand new set. This is some new area. And we want to find the intersection of that whole new thing with C. And so we want to find the overlap of that with C. And so that is this area right here. And so the answer is that area that I've shaded in right there. I'm going to get rid of the superfluous stuff so you can see what I'm talking about. And we're going to shade it in one more time just so you can see what we mean. So it's right here. And this is the answer. So this is everything in A and B, the union of A and B, that is also in C. So you'll notice there are some areas that are not included because they're not in C. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on and let's let's do another one that's kind of similar. And this one's kind of crazy, huh? So we're going to draw our Venn diagrams again. Let's see. We've got A, B, and C. And we want to find A intersection with B. B union with A intersection with C. And so again, the first thing you want to do, let me add another layer so we can kind of get behind everything here. First thing we want to do is find everything that we need to have inside these parentheses, right? We're going to find everything inside the parentheses. It's not the final answer, but that's going to get us there. So A intersection with B. Well, that's everything here, right? That's all of that. And that's this one in blue. And then we need, I'm going to do the next one in green. We need everything over here. That's everything in green. A intersection with C. And that's everything here. And then what do we need to do? Well, then we need to take the union of both of these blobs, right? So that is everything you hear in red. And that's all of this area. So hopefully you're starting to see how this is a little handier, or I think a bit easier way to think of Venn diagrams. So when you're doing normal set notation it can be really challenging to keep all the numbers straight and to think keep everything together but this can be really really handy here you can see everything here it's um, really straightforward you don't have to keep too much straight you just gotta shade some stuff in 
um, hopefully you're finding it a lot of fun so let's do a couple more of these shall we let's go ahead and draw another universe and some more sets I could have drawn that a little more conveniently and my squares are getting worse I swear and hopefully wow this one's just not doing good for me here is it oh well we'll make the best sometimes they're not going to be pretty but that's okay because it's math and it's not art class and let's see we're going to do A union with B intersect C and so again we're going to go ahead and start from the inside of the parentheses out right order of operations kind of and I'm going to do that, sorry I'm choosing a color so B intersect C, well that's this area in blue right here isn't it? so that's not so bad and then let's see the A is going to be this area in green all of it and so the answer is the union of these so it's everything in these two areas so it's this and this that's not so bad hopefully this is starting to click hopefully this is making sense let's do a couple more shall we let's do some fun crazy ones so so far we've said everything in these areas let's let's do something that's kinda crazy let's do our universe and here's our A. Well, that's probably the best circle I've drawn all day. B and C. And let's do the complement of A union. No, no, no. The intersection of the complement of B with the intersection of the complement of C. And you can totally do that. So what's what's the Let's go ahead and what's the intersect what's the complement of A? Well that's all of this, right? And it's gonna be in blue. Oops, that's that's everything including what's inside C and what's inside B. It's everything that's not inside A. Well, okay. It's kinda weird. And then let's see, what's the complement of B? Well that's gonna be in green. That's everything that's not inside B, so that's everything in C kind of hard to see because blue's in the way. Let's go ahead and get rid of that blue. It's everything inside C. It's everything not inside B. It's everything inside A. Everything. Okay. Let's get and then finally, what is let's make this one yeah, uh, orange. What's the complement of C? Okay. So that's everything that's not inside C. and so we want the intersections we want stuff that's only inside everything that's in A I know what I can do A the complement of A which is all the blue stuff the complement of B which is all the green stuff and the complement of C which is all the orange stuff so how can we do that well there's blue stuff all out here there's green stuff all out there and there's orange stuff all out there so what we can do is say hey the complement of these is everything oops let's let's cheat is everything here everything that's not an a b oops my pen doesn't want to work or c how cool is that it's everything that's not in one of these sets how cool is that huh how nifty is that? And so these, these other ones, and we'll erase the stuff in here, totally go away. And that's our answer. How cool is that, huh? So final question, uh, what should I take away from this? Well, if you look back over what we've done here, all of these are just ways of describing stuff that you've already seen before. These are just 
set notation, you've seen A intersection with B, union with A intersection with C, and that's just, this is what it looks like. This is graphically representing stuff that you've already seen, and how cool is that? So these are ways to easily see some crazy stuff. And if you find this really hard, you might find it helpful to break out some crayons or some colored pencils. I have definitely done that. And color in, starting with the parentheses parts, and color out. Start from the big stuff that you know. You know, start with this B intersection C part right here, and say, okay, I can color this part in. I know what it is. So, you know, let me go ahead and color that. Wow, that was huge. That was un completely unintentional. Let me color that part in. And let me move from the outside or inside out. And that's going to help you solve these problems. So, do some practice. You know, go back to your set notation from the book and try to draw Venn diagrams for it. Or just do some practice problems. I know you can get this. Don't be afraid to do some colored pencils. A lot of times teachers will let you bring colored pencils to quizzes or exams, so ask your instructor if you find that to be helpful, and um, give it a shot. I know you can get this down.